Okay. Coming up. <laughs> what makes it difficult is the wheels spin around as you're coming in, Matthew. Ooh. You'll be able to see it later when we review the video. That's right. This is the birthday boy. Birthday boy of 51 years. Okay. So what have we got here? We might looks like we've got some presents. Got some what? Some presents. Change into my pants. My birthday pants. It's not the, quite the same as a birthday suit, Matthew. So what we've, what I've done, Matthew, is I've got your tablets They're on the table, and I've got your thickener it's on the table, and we're waiting for <coughs> you and Dad to be ready, and then some cooking will happen. Right. This is your. A birthday treat, Matthew, is having a guest chef, isn't it? <coughs> has Dad told you what he's making for tea? <coughs> Not yet. But uh, we'll, we'll ask him a few questions when he starts cooking, Matthew, because um, I think he's cooking his specialty that he's been cooking <coughs> for a long, long time. Right. There he goes. Mm -hmm. I should just go down and uh, <laughs> check with Monsieur and see what he's up to. You know, Monsieur, he, he looks out for my keys. I'll go and give him my keys. Are you there, Monsieur? Hello? Here are my keys. So that, that's Stephen's table, Matthew, and, but I've been able to find room for your stuff there as well. So, and Stephen requested a new cushion, so I made him a new cushion. So that's his new cushion. In fact, I made him two, but one's in the other room. So, let me just switch. What's up, Doc? Is that what they say? What's up, Doc? So, we're going to get into the shopping? No, not shopping. What are we doing, Matthew? Cooking tea. Cooking tea. Okay. Well, we're going to have a sit for five minutes. How exciting is that? Excuse me, may I sit at a chair? You need a chair to sit. Matthew knows that. Oh, yes. We have a five minute rest. So Matthew, would you like to un have one of your um, birthday presents now? Or do you want to have them later? Okay. Do you want to have a birthday present now? No. You, would you like to have your birthday presents after tea? Before tea? Oh, you don't care. You don't care. I'm oh. just thinking you, you and Dad are going to be busy in a moment. So I think the advantage of delaying it is that uh, then you wonder what it is, whereas it's, it might. Once, once they're opened, the mystery's gone, and you can't, you don't uh, have that excitement. So, not that I would get too excited. 
but it's always you're always curious as to know what is coming up as a present. It's always intriguing, captivating. Okay, so I'll just switch that off for a moment. We're going to have the spaghetti. So we're going to have the bolognese salsa. So how long have you been cooking um, spaghetti bolognese, uh, Stephen? Oh, I would say about 10 years. I have 10 years experience with the spaghetti bolognese. That's not true, Matthew. He's, he was making spaghetti bolognese before you were born. Oh, well, that's 51 years ago. <laughs> that's right. So he's very experienced. But yes. he might still have to ask me where things are. That's right, and I might still stuff up. But we hope not. So first of all, we have to have a cooking pot. And we need from the eagles. The eagles were the wooden spooners last year and they donated this spoon to, Math to Mr. Matthew Carlyle. I think he's having you on, Matthew. So this was, uh, as you know, the wooden spoon is given to the team that comes bottom. And I've made a mistake because the eagles didn't come bottom, they became second bottom. But Matthew would know that and was not in any way fooled by my errors of my way. And then you need a cutting board, solid, clean, and ready for action. So step forward, sir, and do your cutting. So what we need to do the cutting, we need first of all this. This is the peeler. Hear it? It makes a special noise. fall into my sleep. You are very, very sleepy. Close your eyes and fall mm. deeply asleep. Okay. And then we need the knife. And uh, so, we begin with some uh, oil. Here is the oil. We're going to use rice bran oil. Figure out how to open it. And then we will get some frozen onions and get out the meat. So we've got a nice big pack of meat, Matthew, uh, mince Matthews, 800 grams. Right, we've got uh, pumpkin, <coughs> we can get rid of the capsicum too. If you yes, like. I was thinking that would be nice with it. So. Pumpkin, capsicum. And we've got, uh, we can have carrots, or maybe sweet potato. We have both. Uh, let's see how many carrots have we got. I've got a whole packet of carrots, so it's probably good to have one carrot, otherwise they'll just hang around there. It'll last too long. One carrot and maybe one sweet potato. Yep. What do you think, sir? Mm. We just don't necessarily put um, vegetables in spaghetti bolognese, Matthew, but I find it makes it sort of a little bit thicker. So we want it to be like a sauce. We need a tin of tomatoes. And we'll need 
need some uh, sauce. I need uh, stock powder. Well, is the stock powder? It's it's in the that um, sort of um, box. Little, uh, box of tricks. Yeah. Bring out the box of tricks. Bring out the box of tricks. Here we are. And. And then you'll need some Italian herbs, which are in the door. Italian herbs? Mm. Do you speak a little Italian, my friend? You speak a little uh, sp spaghetti mm. bolognese? You say it with a little bit of Italian accent? <laughs> You're starting to get hungry already, Matthew. Italian. Italian herbs. We put the herbs. Now listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. We put the herbs in with the sauce. Okay, we better get cracking along, otherwise it'll be midnight. Is anyone a little bit hungry? You're a little bit hungry, my friend. Even I get starting to get a little bit hungry, Matthew, in, in anticipation. Okay. Oh well. Now we turn this right down. We get out the. We get out the frozen onions. Do we have any frozen onions? Yes, we do. Here we are. This is the secret recipe. Say he's having to chop up an onion and have a good cry, Matthew. The light can be good as well, I find, to have on there. It's on, just not very hot, not very big flame. Well, we need big heat now because we're going to put in the mince. Mmm. The good thing about spaghetti bolognese, Matthew, is that it doesn't take very long to cook. You just really have to get... Oh, and you'll have to cut, cut up the um, carrot fairly small because otherwise it'll take a while to cook. Okay, well, we've, we've got, got an hour, approximately. We'll get the meat cooking along first. bit hot is it dad? <laughs> Hello there. Hello Matthew. Pretending to be a puppet. Brown all over. Yeah. Comes after a while, and then all the mints will become very um, modularized or granular. It will have uh, all broken up, and then you know that that phase is finished. Reasonable heat. It's not a high heat. 
Shall we get out some of the other gear we need, Matthew? We need to get out the food processor. And that's getting out the stock. Okay, that's for later. And then I think we'll all be having spoons for eating with. Just need to get out a few of your spoons. There we are. Have a look and see how it's going now, Matthew. Oh, it's good and good. So you can see now that all, pretty well, all the uh, raw meters Disappear. turned to brown. Yes. So this is the end of that phase now. And what we'll do is turn the heat down uh -huh. and uh, prepare the veggies, and then put all the other ingredients in. And then uh, we just have, well, we're finished. Oh, there's a little bit of brown, uh, red. Mm. Just need to find these bits. Mm. <coughs> okay, so I'll just come and sit. First of all, carrot. <coughs> Here, the carrot. Get the carrot ready. There we are. Pretty well ready. Chop up nice and fine. Put into the bowl. I see one bowl is for the peelings, Matthew, and the other bowl is for the um, actual vegetables as they are right. prepared. Correct. Spectrum. Are 
Aha, uh -huh. we have the peas. We've got the spaghetti cooking away. We've got the bolognese sauce cooking away. Oops. Missed it up, Matthew. Oh, we've fogged up the lens. Fortunately, as we come over here, it gets better. So I've got some peas and beans in the bowl. Very 
put the little peg on. We used to use real laundry pegs. These are so much. You really need lots of those. Which we have got. So I'd say that's a five minute job. We'll have a few minutes to just. So um, Matthew usually puts some salt and pepper on those. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to hold the? I mean, you you can help him, or you can hold the camera while I do it. You have no. You know how to do it. Okay. So you get the pepper and take the bottom off it. Take it off. And then you bring the thing over to Matthew. That's right. He's getting his hand ready. Get your hand ready, sir. And press the button. Off you go. You have to actually help him. Right, okay, here we go together. And more, sir. you push my hand. That's it. Oops, a daisy. And a bit more. And here we go. Okay. How much did we put in? That's plenty. Too much. Okay, there are certain protocols that have to be followed. So we just uh, shake them up a little bit so that the pepper goes all the way through. So we're not going to put salt on? Uh, we can. That's the next one. Ready? So, <coughs> oh, it's a busy process tonight. Here we go now. Get that hand ready. And up, and here we go. So bring that hand down and onto there. Press Dad's hand. Press and all. <coughs> and That's a bit more. Okay. One more. For luck. There we are. You don't want too much salt. Otherwise, we'll all get high blood pressure. I sing a song called Higher and Higher. I, uh, yes, your love puts me higher and higher. Okay, here we go now. Um, Into... Should we call him George? Into George. Come on, George. Why don't we come now? Here we go now. Five. Here we go. Half. One. Half. Two. Half. Three. Half. Four. Half. Five. And that's as much as you can do. Adam, where do you go? Go, go, Now, how much more time for the spaghetti, Matthew? Do you remember the time that I asked you to remember? Let's have a look. And then to serve up, we use the Hastings plates, Stephen. They make a nice dinner right, plate. Hastings plates coming up. First of all, let's see the time. 54. Oh, we've got four minutes to go. So I'll just check and see. Just time for the peas and beans to come along, Matthew. I'll just see if the carrot is cooked. Will you excuse me, sir? I'm going to I'm going to the pot. I'm going to put this in and taste a little bit. Okay, permission granted, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Come on up, It's okay because Matthew's gets um, topped up anyway, doesn't it, Matthew? It gets pulverized. Pulverized. There's Matthew's pretty socks, cute socks. I think they might be inside out, Matthew. So it makes the pattern a bit different than it would otherwise be. Need 
need a little palm Here we are. Now plates. Here come the Hastings plates. <laughs> Hastings number one. <laughs> Hastings number two. <laughs> You've got a bit more room to work with, Stephen, because I've put a few things away. Yeah. Okay, see, it looks to be one minute and forty something or other left. Up here. One minute forty-seven. Matthew's feeling almost ready for dinner. Edit that one out, Matthew. Washes the hands. I wash the hands. So here we are, ready to do crush Matthew's tablets. Are we going to crush them, Matthew?
Okay, Matt. It was a little bit hot. I might need to do the cooling towers. Here we are. I've got a spare bowl for the cooling towers. screen disappears you if you just tap it it'll come up again all right okay. so we've come to uh, so we need to take birthday off. gift time and our guest of honor mr matthew carlyle Ma to give him his full title mr matthew stewart carlyle who okay. has attained the ripe age of 51 first of all there's the card with your name on it mm. so it must be correct and, and there we are it says what does it say happy birthday dear matt wishing you all kinds of birthday happiness we hope you are looking forward to the next year so your year starts from now matthew lots of love mum and dad could so you present the card to the camera so we can yes. have a look at it there we are so that's what it looks like on the outside yes and that's what it looks like on the inside marvelous okay Okay, and then the wrapping paper for your first present mm. looks a bit similar, doesn't it? Look at those over there. Put the card up. Here we are. And then we'll have a go at wrap, unwrapping this gift, eh? So if I just do the tape. Mm. I wonder what this could be, Matthew. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Okay, are you going to give me a hand to get the paper off? There we are. So, get that off there. And then well done, sir. There. Oh, this looks I think very it's upside down, so let's turn it over. Right. Oh, it looks very pretty. So, this is a special cup. Because when you come home, Matthew, you just get any old cup from our collection. So I thought it'd be nice if you had your own one. And it's a... Beautiful. Some sort of dog, and it's got a, um, a coaster as well. So I see some trees on the outside. Are they on the uh, cup? No. Okay. That's what it looks like. So mm, nice dog. Come and show the camera. It's like a a nice dog. Yes, one that I wouldn't want to meet in the dark. No, he's quite a fierce looking dog, couldn't you? Be Probably. So is the rule that the fiercer the dog, the sweeter they are. They they often have a very sweet nature. That's true. All right. So oh. that can be used again for Matthew's birthday next year. No. We'll <laughs> pack it up. Store yeah. it under M. M for Matthew. No, Matthew's going to have, when you have your drink, Matthew, you're going to have your drink in that cup. Cool. So we can just wash it in the sink, get it ready. Okay. There and we go now. Here next, comes the next one. Next one. Okay. Well, I sent away from for some Turkish towels, Matthew. Ooh. And Dad and I have Very got one nice. each. That we use as our swimming towels, and this one is yours. Beautiful. So, so you get a Turkish towel as well. Ooh. So there we are. So and they say Turkish towel, Turkish delight. There we are. It's quite nice. It's a nice knitted material. Mm, I wouldn't mind it myself. And it's nice coloured. And let's see. It's got Carlisle written there. So and then somewhere else. No chance of getting lost, eh? Well, that's one thing. And then there's another. Your name is on it again somewhere, Matthew. I've just got to find out where. So, the 
because I've got out the sewing machine mm. and made Dad some cushions, but I also put your name on it. So there's your name embroidered on it as well. So nobody else will be able to have it. There won't be any arguments. So you can either use it as a towel or you can have it as a nice rug. Yeah, I'll keep you warm on a cold night. Like that. There we are. Beautiful. And then there's also, not only that. Wow, look at this. But a new top. Kind of uh, nice smart. Mm, I wouldn't now mind that myself. Oops, I've left the label on here. Let's get that off. Yes. Okay. Ooh, what team is that? I don't know. But anyway, so I thought um, you like wearing these soft tops. But I thought it would, would be nice. This is, it's got a little bit of um, bunching on the sleeve, so mm. if they're a bit long, it'll be okay. And then got your name there and your name there, Matt Carr. That's you. your name, Short. Matt. Matt Carr. And, then and not only. Oh! Another one. That's a nice football colours. Mm. So that would be West Coast Eagles. I don't think they're meant to be football colours, are they? No, just a coincidental. They're fairly large in size, Matthew, because... You're a large person. Well, also, they're easy to get on and off. Oh, yes, that's important. They're a bit, they're a bit stretchy. Yeah. So, that's... All the presents. Now, I was going to ask you, do you want me to wash them or do you want to take them home like they are? Do you want to take them home now, tonight? Do you want me to wash them and give them to you next week? Or do you want to take them home when you go home tonight? Okay, that's all right. So we'll put them in the... Get rid of all this stuff. Mmm, very nice. There we go. So that's that's that. That's that, and I'll put it with your bag so we rem we remember, and then. The next thing we've got is the honey cake. Ooh. Now I think I'm going to have to sit down and do this, Matthew. Yes, create a little bit of space there. I'll just wash my hands as well. That's right, very good idea. So where did the cake come from? The cake comes from the honey cake shop. The honey cake shop, that sounds pretty good. And it's in um, Northbridge. Northbridge, yes. Just near the fortress if you happen to be going that way. So let's do this. Let's do this, Matthew. Mmm. I'm going to have to cut it. It's our first. Need some scissors. Sticking down. It's a modern skill required these days to get into packaging. Okay, so it looks like a box of chocolates, doesn't it? Here we are. Um. Indulge in a taste harmony of unique flavour and smooth texture. Leave outside fridge for a sense uh, to unfold the melts in your mouth experience. Simply serve on its own, intensify with ice cream, or experiment to um, something or other your own style. It's just a little bit hard. Anyway. Hard to read. <laughs> 
Okay, so the next thing go. that's on it, Matthew, is another wrapping. So Might want a plate to put it on. Just Maybe not. need to take that off, put it there, and then here comes the cake. Yes, you need to get up and be able to see. Just lift that up. So to use the other scissors, my love. There we are. So, yes, Dad's right. Well, I do need to go and get a plate to put this on. That's right. So bring the plate. Bring forth the plate. Bring forth the Hastings plate. Monsieur Carlyle, he awaits the cake. Do you not, sir? So, okay, so I think you are anticipating uh, biting into this young mat. So this is how the lady got it into the box, Matthew. She That's had right. put it on some paper. Oh, this is a tricky one. And let me hold this down. Yep. Here we are, and onto the plate. There we are. Plate. That was the most difficult little section. Yes. Hmm. So from here we. Put some slices on our nice little bowls. Yes, definitely. And I think we've already got your spoon ready. Do you want a teaspoon, Dad? Or a yes, I'll have a split teaspoon. What do you think, sir? Pretty good tucker tonight? Mm -hmm. Having a good birthday? So we have Hastings plate. No, these are dessert, Hastings dessert plates number one. Hastings. So this is what it looks like on the side oh, there, right. Matthew. Pretty good. Uh, let's cut and thrust. I am going to have to warm it just slightly for us, particularly Matthew. That's our first slice, Matthew. Yeah. And we are allowed seconds if Ooh, we yes. fancy it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to warm yours up just slightly and okay. then we'll put your things on. Into Machina. Into, into George. Hello, George. Come in, George. Uh, he's heating up the cake for you. Bouncing all those molecules of cake around. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Here it comes now. Here's your cake. It's melted a bit. Oh. So, you're willing to give it a go, Matthew? I'd say so. This man was uh, very clever and saved a little bit on his first course so that he would have some for the second course. Okay, I'm just going to make sure it's not too hot. Into the mouth. Ooh. The flavour is honey, Matthew. So we are um, at Matthew's birthday party, and um, he's finished his first slice, and now he's about to have his second. So let's just. Move in now to the man himself. Here is the man. He's having now his second slice. Yeah, I don't think this one's quite as melted as the last slice. So you can see he's really enjoying it. So, uh,
on this. Here we go now. Come back to you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay, so Matthew's having coffee in his new coffee cup. You bring me coffee in my favourite cup. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, terminate. Uh -oh.